Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. And for technical reasons, the lighting isn't ideal. But anyhow, here is our resin extraction system. And uh, I want to explain it in a little more detail. These are standard water filter cartridges. I mean, uh, housings. And the they have resin in cartridges inside. This is the throttle valve, so you can adjust the flow. These little taps are to take samples. They also work really well to tell where the pressure drop is when you're not getting water through the system. Now, the original test was run at 16 gallons per hour. Reason being, we needed a minimum of 10 gallons per hour 24-7 to keep up with the maximum theoretical capacity of the mill, but the faster you pump it through, theoretically, the lower the extraction. So I dropped it down to 16, well, a little bit more than 10. It turned out it was set at 16. It's like, yeah, that's good enough. So, original plan was, I was hoping to get, you know, at least 50% extraction from what solution was flowing through each state. So it would be 50, 75, 87 and a half, and over 90% extraction by the time you went through all four stages. On the other hand, once I took the samples and everything, here's what we actually turned up in terms of extraction of the total gold being input into the system. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> a lot better than I expected. So basically stage one was getting 97% of the gold and stage three and four were getting a little bit. Now this was running 400 grams of resin. It was pretty much as much as you could fit in a cartridge along with stage three. Two and four had less, car less resin than could fit, which would allow it more room to move around and stuff like that. The numbers are slight, so I can't tell for sure, but it looked like these two were actually doing better than this one, and that would be a good thing, because we could use even less. So, <clears throat> that is the first test. So, yesterday I came out and I just opened that valve wide open. <laughs> There was one other modification though, because these filters, or these cartridges, uh, come on. Okay, here's the resin cartridge, and I've taken a little bit out of the 400 because I was having problems with flow and I thought maybe it was just packed in tightly. But what it actually was, is right in here there's a disc of fiber to act as a filter to keep the resin in. And unfortunately, it was plugging up with silt. Now I've cleaned them all out yesterday, but you have to take this fiber disc out and clean it when it gets filled up with, with mud. I had a little breach on the uh, pad there and I got mud in the pregnant and so it made kind of a mess. Now it is supposed to get down to freezing this uh, well well below freezing this weekend. So I had drained the system and getting ready to put it away. But the other modification I made which seemed to help some but well, since the first results were so good, I went to three stages of resin and one just pure filtration. It seemed to help some. It didn't stop the problem, but it meant I only had to uh, clean that out a couple of times. Now hopefully I've got the system all cleaned out and everything will be fine. Now this whole system is designed to be easily moved out of the weather. Just like that. 
All I have to do is input the hose, stick the output in the tank. Usually it would be over there, but here you can see it better. So that's where we're at now. The resin is working a lot better than anticipated, and we're doing what we can to figure out how to uh, tune the system even better. And we'll let you know as time goes on. So happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.